Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Xavi Simons FC24 player review. Trailblazers version, 84 rated right winger, 5 foot 10, high high on the work rates, 3 star skill moves, oh, sorry 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, right footed, mostly explosive. A fairly expensive squad builder challenge for the uh, the overall rating there, about 120k. You can play right wing, right mid, cam or left wing. Um, I'm thinking like cam might be a really good position, you know, 90 pace with 92 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 79 shoot. Uh, 82 finishing, 81 attack positioning, very good. 81 passing with 82 short pass, 70 on the free kicks, 81 long pass, 87 dribbling with 92 agility, 87 balance. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know I love agility and balance, so that's very good. 88 ball control as well, 87 dribbling. 66 defending is fine, we don't need that, he's an attacker anyway. 80 physical with 75 strength, a little bit low. That's where I'll be putting the chemistry style on there to increase that physical, increase the shooting as well, maybe like a hawk or something like that to increase both for those and then that pace gets put over the top as well six play styles on this card as well including a playstyle plus so he has got the chip shot um tiki taka first touch flare technical plus and travella let's get in some gameplay all right so let's see how we get on got a corner given away here that's not really our main focus defensively we are all about attack today with julian alvarez and javi simons as the two players that we're testing out here so hopefully they'll be decent i mean their gold cards are actually okay especially javi simons like during the first sort of month of fifa or eafc so i'm still in the habit of calling it fifa um in in the first oh well, i say first month we're still technically in the first month the first couple of weeks goal there javi simons actually showing pretty poor strength there as well um in the first couple of weeks of fc 24 javi simons was a card that everyone seemed to have he always playing against me his pace is ridiculous um so i'm expecting good things out of this trailblazer card i imagine that's why they um, bought this one out because i know they know that he's going to be in high demand because of how good his gold card was it's just a pace merchant with and now he's got much better shooting as well to go with it um, and then we've got Julian Alvarez who I don't really see very much he's very cheap um, as far as the gold card goes um, I tested the gold card out very very early on in FC24 there is Javi Simons not doing that great to be honest um, but yeah I, I tested out Julian Alvarez's gold card very early on I was going to do a review on that gold card but there just wasn't the demand for him to be honest like he's so such a cheap gold card there's just you know you might as well just risk paying a thousand coins it's not much at all uh, whereas the trailblazer is completely different and that I feel like with a different player um, in goal for him, he's got Allison. This is, ends up being a goal, but not any player that we are reviewing today. Um, if if that wasn't Allison in goal, that little side foot might have ended up in the back of the net. It was a, a decent attempt, and Allison in this game is just ridiculous. So. You know, it's hard sometimes to tell. When I play against these good goalkeepers, Allison Cobble is always one that, and Tersturg, and they're the ones that really, really do my head in. Um, as far as when I'm trying to do a review and record a video, if I come up against those keepers, I know if I'm doing an attacking player, if they score, they have to be good. <laughs> you know, that was weird. I, I'm weird from me, and then I don't think the guy was really ex expecting it, so he ended up booting it out as well. Uh, there was Alvarez just taking too long, but this guy's team is really good. I mean, he's got Marquinhos there um just rushing up against julian alvarez so was it always going to be difficult again poor strength shown from javi simons gets dispossessed i was hoping that he would just turn him and, and be able to get his pace away here's alvarez again well that was actually okay that from both players that we are reviewing today as well and now javi simons can use his pace julian alvarez in the middle there just kind of well, now he's kicked in um, I don't know why I didn't just cross that in to be honest uh, Julian Alvarez was bursting into the middle there he, he took him a little while to get going but once he did he was uh, he was good but again just losing the ball there's been a few occasions I know this guy's got good players that are going to be blocking passes and stuff but other players are managing to make passes here is Javi Simon so let's see what we can do here with him Again, just a poor pass. Um, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Hopefully, that won't be the case in the next few games that I play with both of these players. I, you know, I always do about four or five games before giving my overall verdict. So, I will do so. So, hopefully, um, <laughs> the next review of them will be uh, a roaring success. So I'm going to get back into the in-game stats now um, and give my overall verdict. There's a oh, almost a pass. Almost a pass. Uh, let's go give it our overall verdict after the four or five games. 
All right, so you've just seen him in action there. Very, very good looking player for me. Very, very fast. Pace 90, 100% felt like 90. Shooting, I didn't really get many chances to shoot, which is really strange for a player like that. Um, got himself into some fairly good positions, but I think the high high meant he played um, quite far back. I mentioned that during the, the actual gameplay there. He uh, he had to run forward very, very quick. So unless you're someone that holds the ball up well, it's going to be difficult to get him into attacking positions. 81 passing, honestly felt pretty good. And I'll bring that up to an 83. 87 dribbling, 100%. His dribbling was fantastic. It's almost on par with his pace, which I kept at 90, so I'll bring the dribbling up to an 89. 66 for the defending, sure. He's an attacker. I didn't notice anything there with his defending. An 80 physical. Maybe you could argue that that can be what up to like an 81. Nothing spectacular, though. So, I mean, this card is quite expensive. About 120k to do it. I think 86 rated squad and 84 rated squad off the top of my head, I think. So, quite an expensive one. For me, just not worth it, um, unfortunately. I thought he was going to be his gold card is fantastic you know i don't think that it's enough of an upgrade you can tell small differences but for 120k when his gold card's going for like 2k i don't think that the difference is worth it so hopefully this video has helped you make your decision if it has please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this there will be a link in the description down below full of fc24 player reviews and as always guys thank you for watching